got the two and three Knicks versus the two and three Pacers. Um, Reggie Miller and Paul George have been on one. Uh, Reggie Miller is going to have a big mismatch on Paul Nixon. Um, and I think Paul George even will have a mismatch on Carmelo Anthony. Uh, but I think down low is where the Knicks will thrive. Rebounds, everything will probably go in the Knicks' favor. I, I think what this game comes down to for the Knicks is forcing turnovers and uh, playing at a fast pace. Welcome to a special edition of Sunday Night Basketball here on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Ali LaForce is our reporter. So we'll see the, the New uh, York Knicks ooh. facing the Indiana Pacers. In the tip off and there. look at the starters for the Knicks. Unable to do anything with it. Anthony Paul Frazier. Oh, oh, Paul George with a good steal. Driving it. Yeah, he's ripping it down. Well, we talked about, you know, George is athletic. He's long and he's got really long mm. arms. Which helps him yeah, as athleticism. Young yeah, Paul George. Lane, but you know what, though? I said down low. The Knicks got the advantage, but Mel Daniels actually a lead, a league the leader in rebounds the shot for four is seasons in a row. Last year, sure he was second where to a rookie, Victor Wimanyama. Wimanyama, there we go. Anthony, left side. And they Ooh. waste no time oh, getting those three points back. That in the face it's of turned George. into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be right, something yo, if I'm personal Reggie, taking ball place here. screen here. Here's Miller. Don't pass this. Fires for three. Because I don't think he's yet. Yeah, I don't think he's got it like that. I, I would have called for a screen. Pass to Frazier. Well, you're the Pacers man, Reggie Miller on Paul Nixon. Here's you a huge mismatch. Here's Nixon. You should abuse it. And again, mm. New York with the triple. Boy, that's Paul George twice now. It helps that he's as has had as he a three look over the floor shot right cleanly. in his mouth. Here's Bosch. Oh, he thought about returning the favor. George he's smart though. He's gonna call for the screen. It down from distance. George has got five points. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading three back and forth. Yeah, Paul like George and Reggie Miller on the floor. One team gets three. You he's called for the screens. Boom. And, and shoot over the top. Give him the green Anthony light. Right side. Oh, they Ooh. get a hand on oh, George it. almost. Down to five on the Tipping shot. Tipping that out. Over George. Oh. No good off the back of the rim. Oh, Analytics George defending Armel Anthony pretty well jumper, here. Let alone against exceptional defense. Oh, Reggie. Oh, he's going to take it down Sabonis. low. Give oh, it to nice Sabonis. Finish from the low block. That one's good. <laughs> Pick works okay. well there, but the defense left oh, a lot to be Anthony desired. Anthony just kind of got yeah, tossed out. Oh, okay. You need. You got to be tough. Oh, okay. And that was the mobile Reggie one cleared drive. Reggie clear him off. Force a switch. Resistance to the finish line. You're toasting the defense. And, and Sabonis right close. over Nixon. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Oh, Anthony, he's been getting doubled down in the Anthony. post all season. To the inside. Ooh. Not by this Pacers squad though. Here's Bosch. And that, that alone could be a difference maker for them mentally. Here's Miller. See how they handle it. Reggie, come on, man. Call for a screen. Oh, no. That's Paul George wide open. Flop. They can pay for that. Yeah, give, give them the green light. Paul George, Reggie Miller. This start offensively. Give him the and green light misses. all night, especially reward him on, reward him on O if he gonna play they defense like that. Reward <laughs> him on O if he's gonna play defense like that. When you look at Paul George as a dunker. This guy makes alley oops look easy. New York calls timeout. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something. Anything to stop this run, you can't just let it go on any longer. Both of these teams with a chance to get back up above. Or sorry, not above, but, but First quarter both of these teams have a chance to get back to 500 and tonight. And so far, the Pacers taking full advantage. This is now the second steal Paul George has had. Pass to Miller. Here's Bosch. And mm. again, it's the Pacers. From and they're on quite a run here. 18 to 6. The hustle stats for Indiana. Well, you know, they've been aggressive on the defensive end, and it's paying off for them. Quite a few 
takeaways for them in the early going. And they've done a tremendous job just creating havoc defensively. And here I said the Knicks Active would win the battle of the boards, but so far, tons of turnovers I don't think they've, they've gotten an offensive on. rebound. And here's George. Now Paul George. Oh, has been a, success. a blocking <laughs> foul by Nixon. Hey, hey, at least he tried. Tried to pick up the charge. The rookie had to do something, man. <laughs> Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination Ooh. games. And, yes, mm. there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. Mm. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. Sabonis with a screen on mm. Anthony. Mm. George. Mm. And he sinks out. Oh, George has been fantastic tonight. Twelve points in the game. Already with twelve points. To the middle. Look, Mel Daniels holding his own on Patrick Ewing. Oh, playing good D. Playing good D. This Pacers defense has been fantastic tonight, especially down low, where I'm sure the Knicks thought that they would have a massive advantage. On offense, here are the Pacers. I'm game. sure they thought they'd have a massive advantage. Uh oh, and now look, I'm, I'm sensing double screen. Here's Bosch. He has six. Oh, Reggie Miller thought about shooting that. Give him the Here's green Miller. light. Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, offensive rebound. Oh, offensive rebound. What the hell is What? Hey, his shot got blocked. Got an offensive rebound, but then went out of bounds. Here's Frazier. Anthony, right side. Man, Carmelo Anthony has not been able to get anything to go. Oh, Anthony slams it in. Carmelo Anthony. But he kind of drags Reggie right Miller into the mix. He kind of goes into traffic, forces the Pacers to get George. over each other. And now Reggie Miller. They swipe it. Man, has not had the best of luck, bro. Just call for a screen and shoot it over the top. You're Reggie Miller. Now Anthony, George defending. Here's Frazier. Inside. You got the green line. Oh, Mel Daniels with a steal. Now on the break. <laughs> He's going to take it clean over Anthony. Building a big advantage early with a terrific all around performance. Yo, the steals, them playing the passing lanes, their defense, and the turnovers. And, and the way they pushed the pace, ooh. And the way they played in transition is the reason why they have this 10 point lead here. It's like Reggie, just. I get it, man. Paul George has a high hand, and you want to feed him. Six for six. But Reggie, just call for a screen shoot for three. Look, look at Walt Frazier. No shame calling a screen, and it's. Oh, Bill Daniels with the fantastic defense. And now look at this off the screen right here. He's got six. Paul George wide open. Oh, but he's not going to take it. Oh, dang. Patrick Ewing said. That he can be hey, man, forget your takeover, man. Too. Forget your hot streak, bro. <laughs> I'm giving you your first miss right here. Oh, mm. jams it straight down. Walt hey, Frazier. Kept it simple. No reason the, to get the, fancy the chops, right now, man. Okay. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Hey, I here we go. Call the screen. Oh. Maybe you need a bigger body to get that screen. But yeah, call the screen. Flush. Shoot the screen, man. Dude, that's a circus shot and an offensive rebound. Oh, I was going to say, man, really out here padding his stats. Pass to Bosch. Oh, oh, take him in the deep water. Take him in the deep water. Clear it out. Yeah. Take him in the deep water. Paul George off the screen. This man going from deep. Paul George has more points by himself than the Knicks have as a team. And they're going to call their second time out. I'd imagine we see a platoon swap here. I'd imagine the whole bench coming in. I'm the coach. I'm saying, get all y'all, get the fluff out of here. Okay. Now you got Richardson. Now Richardson. They they made a trade off the bench. Richie Gearin's playing the two. Then Grady Dick is playing the three. Here he goes. New hmm. York, no good that time either. It's a clear look oh, for Oladipo. Wide open. Releases from the wing and drills it. And Indiana leads by like, yeah, that boy green light. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Giving up too many open shots. Mm. I mean, that's what's happening here. It looked to me 
to be a bit sluggish. Pass to Reed. Tremaine O'Neal and Willis Reed. Oh! Willis Reed had a dominant game against the Wizards. Trying to do the same thing with the Pacers here, but. So a little bit of mouse and house alert. <laughs> Willis Reed's telling him, where'd you hear anything? Bro, man, you got to be defending him out there. He's not about to give not in here. You need to just fluff out the way. Stopping the layup and not giving up the and one. As their lead extends to 17 points here. DeMontis Sabone is so versatile, brings so much to his position. We could potentially be looking at a second skunk. And defends at a high we go up 21 points. Oh! Imagine it's nearly impossible to not get we send it early. Willis Reed, though, not, not going to have on his watch. They are fired up. And that's what those alley oops wow. would do for a team. They Fouling just, they knew that the handoff to Paul George was coming. So they're just fouling just to keep the ball from getting in his hands. Sabonis with a screen on Richardson. Not, not, the, not the shot you want there. Not the shot you want there, especially when Paul George didn't take over. You got to hit that man. Mm. To, uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. And here are the Pacers now. After Over the deep by New York. Yeah, you still got Paul George though, coming off of the screen. I was to say that'd have been deep. Out to Oladipo. Oh, but back to Oladipo. Smart. Draws the double, senses it the whole way. Oh, now it's another screen here. Oh, no, he's just going to peel out, and Willis Reed's going to go back to work down low. He's been great for them on the bench. He's been fantastic for them on the bench. Victor Oladipo. Yeah, I was gonna say, you got Paul George still out there. Let him go to work, man. He only missed two shots on the night. George has got 19 points. He's got 19 points. I mean, come on. Just let him go to work. If you're gonna keep him out there, especially against the, the, the bench, the secondary. Here's Reed. Oh, man. Here's <laughs> Reed. Going to work down low, man. Here's Wallace. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Oh, George, George, George off the screen again. Oh, oh, great dick. All oh, mixed up. And he can't get that one. New York. Luckily though, he's long, man. Brady Dick is super long. Outside Richardson. He's able to basically still be in position Pass to defend to that. Oh, Jermaine O'Neal though. All right, I can't defend you down low. I'll, I'll keep you from getting the ball. I'll play it risky. And misses it off the right side of the rim. They couldn't make well, him pay for it. Now the Knicks have a two for one. More often than not, he'll sink Opportunity that here. Jump. Let's see if they can take outside advantage Richardson. of it. Here's Reed. Oh, it's Reed. Yeah, yeah. He's got a mouse and house situation here. The kick out to Richardson. Oh, uh, he doesn't on the clock. take full advantage over Casey Wallace. Twelve. Oh, rebound. Twice Offensive again. rebound. That time he puts it back up. So actually, wow. instead of two for one, they basically just made it one for one, but now the paces are rushed. Ooh, oh, that's a bucket. There's no doubt about that one. <laughs> we knew that was a bucket before he even put the shot up. Uh-oh. Oh, they kept him from getting a clean shot off, which is good. But still, uh, Pacers, man, up 14 at home. They should be able to close this out, no problems. Elevate. And they do. They do a 10-point margin of victory. But something tells me it was pretty much blowout territory. So they're up 13 and a half. Uh, oh, they gave up six of it. They were still up 11, right? Or, wait, give up six of a 13-point lead. That's not what that is. That's up five. They were still up five going to the fourth. You know, man, 14% from three. That's rough for the Knicks. <laughs> That's really rough for the Knicks. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is a defensive game for sure uh, for the Pacers. They defensively, with, with, they generated 21 turnovers. They had 12 steals, um, not to mention that they were going up and getting the rebounds with the Knicks. Like, they were keeping up with the Knicks on, on the rebounding side of things. They were pushing the pace in, in, you know, on the fast break. I'm surprised they didn't get to the line more uh, doing all of that. But 
defensively, they just put on a show. They didn't let the Knicks get anything, and and especially Carmelo Anthony. I think that that Paul George has to be the player of the game if there is one here. Not to, I mean, we already see he got, he got twenty six point, but you know, Carmelo or so oh, that's Curtis Anthony. Carmelo put up a decent stat line, right? Eleven point seven rebounds, uh, ten assists. Almost a triple double, but at what cost? Right, four of eleven shooting, one of three overall. Like Paul George kind of boxed up, um, and yeah, you had a couple guys that had eighteen points. Willis Reed, notably one of them off the bench, and they had you know a couple guys with three steals, three blocks, all big rebounders. They did everything else well, but you know, let's be honest, Carmelo Anthony is their bucket getter. He can't have an 11 point game and, and you still expect to win. If you're the Knicks, you just can't do that. Um, so shout out to Paul George for holding him to 11 and for simultaneously scoring 26. Um, 21 of them coming in the first quarter, by the way. That's how crazy that was. Didn't miss a single shot from Yanni Ark in the first quarter. <laughs> Dude was on a roll. He had four steals. Uh, Lewis Bosch had a double double with 19 points and 10 assists on just one turnover and, and generated two steals himself. Reggie Miller managed to finally turn things around. Um, literally took one shot in the first quarter and didn't make it. Don't know why he wasn't more involved. Um, but he had 17.7 assists, two steals as well. So bonus had multiple, uh, you know, elite number of rebounding. Um, Mel Daniels, elite rebounds as well. Uh, elite number of blocks as well. You know, I mean, they came out and they punched the Knicks in the mouth, man. I mean, the turnovers, you know, you want to look at steals, bro. And then just the, the turnovers they will generate, you know, Mel Daniels with three blocks, the Depot with multiple steals, Reggie Miller, Lewis Bosch, Paul George, all with multiple steals. I mean, that's what won him that game for sure. 